My name is Artem Alif. I work for the data stacks company. I'm a software developer and I focus on data stacks analytics and graph analytics component of data stacks enterprise database. Well, actually, the, probably the main problem I met is the integration of different open source technology. And well, that's all, and I can deep, go deep into this into this detail, but that's probably all. And it's especially, so the main problem I meet probably when you try to integrate with different Hadoop distributions uh, because they're all slightly different. This. The problem with the scale is, uh, well, for example, in Spark, because it's my part of the responsibility, every time you try to do kind of joins with the big data sources, they will get the shuffle story, and you will, so, and that curve, because on a big data set, you always need to defy, to know before you run the query how much partition you need to have. And well, that probably well, strange problem of the Spark. <laughs> Everything will be digitized, and we'll have uh, a lot of. So I think that the, mo the main problems will be in uh, Internet of Things uh, area, because we just have too much. We will have too much data, and right now it's solved just by aggregation of the data and saving on the aggregate. But especially machine learning guys want to get a source of the data, all the data they have, and I think this machine learning plus Internet of plus Internet of Things will cause this blowout of the data of the num of the number of queries and data data entities, and that that will be a main problem. Well, as a Spark developer, I like functional programming very much because it's a really impressive language. It allows you to define a complex query and complex uh, algorithms in really short and expressive way. Well, I like that there are it's not focused on one thing, but there are different people that talk about different things. And well, especially when you talk with attendee that do really interesting things in the real world, not just a programmer who do who, who do only coding.